Hello, the reason I'm recording this video is to give you an explanation of how Quest charges for transactions as they get played back on their external beacon sites. So basically these are transactions that you would record and you would schedule the playback of and then we would charge you depending on how much you're playing back and where you're playing back from. So what I'm going to do is explain what a measurement is during this demonstration and it's just for the purposes of understanding our pricing a little bit better. So when we do a recording, we're going to pick a device. I'm, I'm going to do an Apple iPhone just so that we can see that feature as well. And then if I click on Begin Recording, um, I'm going to go ahead and start a new recording session. And you'll see on the bottom that it says zero events recorded. And basically events is what we're charging for. For every event that we record, when you deploy this transaction to the different sites, we're going to go ahead and measure that event. So I'll click through a transaction just to give you an idea of how the events run up. Now today we're going to use AA.com, sorry, BA.com as our example um, for the mobile application. So this is emulating an iPhone and now we're on British Airways and we're on the US site. And you can see right now I, I've had two events. So I went to the home page and then I clicked on, um, I clicked on reservation and now I'm going to go to book a flight from the USA and you'll see the events so now I'm up to four events so my departure point I'm going to select as New York and then I'm going to go to London uh, this is, I'll select that and then it's going to say go ahead and pick your dates and I could pick the dates you'll see how actually the calendar charged me for an event here because it did a fetch so I'm going to choose the seventh and then my return date I'm going to go ahead and choose the something after the 7th so I'll choose the 13th and then go ahead and get flights and that's just an idea of how long it takes to fetch the flights is basically the what we recorded and you can see right now there's 14 events that it charged me for so far and I'm just gonna stop it right here so every time you play you would be charged for 14 measurements uh, for each site that the script is deployed to now I'll just give you a really quick idea once we say OK I can open this up and I could see these events on the left hand side here and I'd be able to make changes to these event properties. Okay. So that concludes our demonstration so 14 events turns into 14 measurements at replay time and then you're charged depending on where you're playing them back from you're charged per measurement so it may be 10 credits it may be 2 credits it may be 1 credit uh, that really depends on the regions and the type of carriers that we're using to run these transactions. Thank you for attending.